This is Toki and Harlequin again. Hey, Spotty Belly. Made shortly after the last video. They were both just being so cute. I couldn't resist making another video. It's love, just lovely watching mothers interacting with their kittens. And as I say that, what does Toki do? Pins him, headlocks him. <laughs> yeah, lovely. <laughs> They're having fun. Is he a dirty, dirty kitten, Toki? Does he need a really good wash? These sessions are half wash, half play. Oh. Turn around, darling. Harley's are six and a half weeks old. Can't believe that some pet owners think that kittens of this age are ready to go to their new homes. He's obviously such a baby. What he really benefits with is play. More with other kittens, interactions with his mum. And you get much, much nicer kittens as a result of that. The difference between now at six and a half weeks and in a couple of weeks' time at eight weeks, when the mothers start rejecting them, or rather not rejecting them, but they start ignoring them, because in the wild that's when the kittens would be starting to think about going off on their own. It's quite astonishing the difference between six weeks and eight weeks makes a huge difference socially. Not that I let mine go at eight weeks, but, but that's the time when they need their mums less. Don't sit on his head, Toki. Kind of reminds me of trying to bath a wriggling child. Although at least wriggling children don't kick you in the head as often as Harley does. So lie still, I am going to wash you. Poor Toki. Hear that? That's another female cat in the house going meow. And she's immediately up and alert, going, is she going to come in here? She better not. She can't, actually. They're shut in the kitchen. You pin that unruly kitten and wash him. It's another thing this kind of um, this kind of interaction accomplishes. 
is it teaches Harlequin what size prey he can deal with and what size he can't. Um, it's funny, you'd think this would be instinct and reflex, but it isn't. Although they're naturally inclined to chase fast-moving small objects, like mice, birds, kittens don't actually know how big, um, what size of prey they can handle, and they have to learn. That's why at, at Harlequin's age, you quite often get kittens flying at your ankles as they're trying to work out whether they can take you down. You have to teach them repeatedly that they can't, but uh, they do enjoy trying. So what Toki's doing by pinning him like this She's also teaching him, look, anything my size, you can't deal with. No pigeons for you at this age. Kittens always have ideas above their station, though. They think they can handle anything until taught otherwise. Oh, you sneaky little beggar. You no, no, you don't. No, I pin you. She has to tell him over and over again, and he still tries. There's Toki's neutering scar. Absolutely fine. Doesn't even look like a scratch. Well, it does look like a scratch. We'll go and find your other baby. We'll go and find Piero. Oh, no. Nope. I'm going to start making a new video. I think this one's getting too...